Hello, Mrs. Neumeyer here for our final week of Tin Whistle. We are going to be doing a lot of review today and spending some time getting to practice and play our song that we've been working on throughout the last six weeks. So today will be a day where you can practice reminding yourself of how much each note, how many of the counts each note gets, what are the names of the notes, doing some rhythms, doing some of our dynamics, and then playing our song. All right, so I've got some more flashcards for us here where we can practice playing our rhythms, and then it would be fun for you to draw your steps, draw some of your notes, see if you remember the names of the notes, and then see if you can practice playing the rhythms that you come up with. So draw your steps and draw out some rhythms and go around practicing them. But first, before we draw our own, I want you to practice some of these on our flashcards. All right, let's put up the first one. Can you do this? Let's count. One, two, three, four. T, 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 half note. All right, did you get that? All right, and now it sound like T, 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 half note. All right, I'm going to hold up the next one, see if you can get it. Okay, what's this one? One, two, three, four, half note. T, 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 T. All right, did you get it? All right, here's another one. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so that was ta, T, T, half note. How'd you do? All right, let's try. One more together, and then I want you to write your own on your staffs. Practice writing, make, drawing your staff. Practice drawing your um, your notes, the names, your treble clef, and then draw out some rhythms. And you can even partner up, and you draw a rhythm for your partner to clap, and then they draw one for you to clap and take turns. All right, let's do our last one. Ready? One, two. Half note, T, T, Ta. Good. All right. Spend some time drawing, and then we'll come back and we'll do some playing. All right. Did you have some fun playing each other's rhythms? All right. One thing I want to point out that we haven't talked about yet, but it's in your piece of music, is a note down here. Did you get to this one yet? It's a dotted quarter note. All right, so with a dotted quarter note, how many beats do you think that gets? Well, let's look at the rest of the measure and see if we can figure this out. Kind of a um, process of elimination. All right, we've got a quarter note. I'm going to work backwards. We've got a quarter note here, one beat. A quarter note here, one beat. What's this one? An eighth note, right? And that's half of a beat. So, so far we have one, two and a half beats. Well, we know this is four beats per measure. So how much is left? If we have one, two and a half. What's four minus two and a half? One and a half. So a, a dotted quarter note is gonna get one and a half beats, okay? So when you get to that part, you're going to hold it a little bit, just a little bit longer than the quarter note would normally be held. And then you're going to play this as an eighth note and then quarter note, quarter note. All right. Let's practice that a little bit together. Now, now you can spend some time playing together as a class and then you can see one at a time individually. You can, who wants to play? Now it's like doing a solo, right? Don't worry. We're all at different phases of learning. Some of us have practiced lots. Some of us have been doing this for more years than others. Some of us, it's our first time. So maybe if it's our first time, we can only do one measure or one line or just a little bit, or maybe we can go through the whole thing. We just go very slowly. Have patience with yourself and have patience with one another, knowing that we're all in different places and that's okay, right? So practice playing, enjoy playing, and then you can even 
practice playing other things, other songs, get other types of music, or maybe you want to make up your own music because now you know the notes and you can see what sounds good to you and you can practice playing the different notes, even practice writing down the notes. If you're playing one, practice writing it down and see what that note is. There's all kinds of things that you can do with this musical grammar that you have learned the last six weeks. You can even practice with other instruments. If you have a piano or other instruments, see how it compares. If you play a C on the piano and a C on your tin whistle, enjoy music, enjoy singing, enjoy playing, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.